A federal opposition leader Bill Shorten's vision is realised. Half of all new cars will be electric by 2030. It's an ambitious target and one that comes with a hefty price tag. Nick Bruning investigates how the cost of electric cars compares to traditional vehicles now and in the future. Retired Wattle Grove engineer Rob likes his cars. I drove Commodores most of my life. He's now bought a fully electric BMW. I went electric because it's the fastest way you can reduce your carbon footprint. But they're not cheap. A petrol car compared to an electric equivalent. A fully optioned Hyundai i30, uh, about low 30s drive away compared to a fully optioned Ionic drive away looking at about $50,000. Those prices are high, but as more electric vehicles hit the market, those prices will start to come down. The big question is, how much do they cost to run? Rob's compared the running cost of his old Commodore to his new Beamer. Roughly $27 per 100 kilometres. Uh, running the i3 is roughly $6 per 100 kilometres. That's a fraction of the price. About a quarter. The average car does about 15,000 kilometres per year. While Rob's electric car cost him 80,000, over a year it saves him about $60 per week. Over five years, the savings are nearly $16,000. Range is an issue. Rob gets about 240 kilometres off a 40 minute charge. Long distances, we don't have the uh, fast charging infrastructure in place. But the RAC's electric highway is expanding, strategically located charging stations. That's improving every week and month. And the future? Ten years ago I put three kilowatts of solar onto this house for 32,000. You can buy the same system now for 3,000. Nick Bruning, 7 News.